Turn your shoulders in left. Beautiful. Man, forget digital. I need to go old school and shoot film on you. Hey, can you come knock off the shot off the right side of the forehead, please? Okay, you guys got to wrap it up quickly, okay? Okay, okay. We're almost there. A few more frames, okay? Okay, thank you. That looks good. Thank you. I love this. I love this. It's beautiful. We'll do it for the next shoe. Okay, thank you. Nice, beautiful. You see these 10 digits underneath my autograph? <laughs> well, it's my cell number. If I give you my number, that means there's something special about you. <laughs> so when shall I be expecting your call? Tonight. Hmm. I like you already. I already see a great friendship brewing between the two of us. Most definitely. Listen, if you want to stay my friend, I need you to listen to me clearly. Okay. Before you call me, you must text me first for permission. You understand? Mm -hmm. You feel me? Friend? I feel you. Friends? Most definitely. Mm-hmm. Uh, excuse me for a second. I'm going to use the restroom. Yeah. So who let the dogs out? Oh, I guess another one bites the dust, huh? She's fired. Latanja. Oh, darling, no, honey. I'm sorry, but God does not produce enough water to wash my hands after touching those lips. You're lost. And for the record, this amazing, beautiful woman is the only one touching my lips. I'm blessed like that. And for that little troublemaking conscience of yours, your new secretary is a fan. Girl, please. <laughs> No, guys, I'm sorry. Listen, just remember we need to be at CBC at 2, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Bye, girl. You need to fire her and find a more positive helper. You mean manager? Mm, whatever. <laughs> and how was your day, mister? Well, it was going great. Hey, focus. Nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but look, baby, I don't feel like any kill today, baby. What about some steak and fries? No. Yeah, come on, steak. <laughs> Red meat on your bones. Let's go get that. <laughs> Uh, Marvelous, let me get a million dollars. I take a quarter. I take. A... Oh. Marv, Mar I'm sorry, man. You got you got to stop begging in front of my building, man. Oh, you got a building now, please? You know this is my oh, building, man. man. Oh, you got right, to let me hold go. something. I'm not letting you hold anything but these cuffs. That's all I got for you, man. Beat it, man, before I call the cops on you again. Why you won't call the cops on a black man? I'm doing my job, sir. You've been exfoliating. I see it all. I'll let you notice that. Thank you, sir. Oh, oh. No, no, no. Look at this. This boy think I'm playing hi, with him. Hi, Miss Selena. Okay. Hi, Mark. Hey. Here comes the oh, beggar. Oh, y'all so beautiful. Hmm. Look at y'all. OK, so what do you want, hobo? Why you always got to be opening up your big mouth? First of all, I was talking to Miss Alina. How you doing? Well, you know, Miss Alina told me to tell you that she's so sick and tired of you trying to suck her dry for every penny and dime and nickel and dollar and donut and whatever. sandwich and whole sandwich and half whatever, a sandwich whatever, whatever. and everything she you got. Know what? Unlike you, Miss Alina is my friend, right, Miss Alina? Oh, really? She's, she's your friend only when she's giving you a penny. Uh, she's not your friend, so drift. Alina, can I get a dollar? Don't you dare give in to this loafer. Keep your money to yourself, girlfriend. Go buy yourself a sandwich. Seriously, though, why don't you just go get a job? You're young, you got both your legs. He is a full-bodied, trifling fool. Oh. What? First of all, I've been filling out job applications lately. You are a liar! What? You ain't nothing but a food stamp trying to get over on the system bomb. B food stamp? First of all, I would never take anything from the system. From the government? Are you crazy? Can I get a dollar, please, Miss Alina? <laughs> if I give you this money, would you promise me that you're gonna go look for a job? I promise. I promise. You know to I'm... go look for a job. I've been go... Mar. I've been in the church. You know I'm gonna do right. I ain't, I ain't trying to do. This. Now he wanna bring Jesus. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm doing right. I'm trying to get my life together. Come on now. Fifty dollars. <laughs> All right. Look, let me just help you out. Here you go, man. Hi. Thank you. Look, y'all yeah. just black queen. Yeah, and you a king. Ooh. And you know what else? I really do believe in you. Do you? Psych. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you still a goddess. Bye, Mar. Look at Bye, you. Bye, Mar. Bye. <laughs> Woo. I'll drive. Okay. <laughs> Kill him. Black of the berry. Woo. That guy, I tell you. Oh.
So you think what I'm asking is unreasonable? You're a woman. You guys are always asking for emotional, unreasonable things. Do not ever let me hear you repeat that. Uh, that comment is a career killer. That is your problem right there. <laughs> Baby, there's not a woman on this planet that I have to chase after. Oh. What I want you. Right now, marriage is nice for some people. Look, I just hate imprisoning myself to political correctness, you know? But that's why I love what we have. I mean, I can tell you how I really feel. And how do you really feel? No filters? I'm a big girl. Okay, big girl. Oh, thank God, not in the literal sense. Oh, my God, don't be an a-hole. Look, I just think that you allow your girl Latanja to get inside your head. I mean, she manipulates your mind, baby, and that's dangerous to give a person that much power. Oh, my God. Shut up. Just please shut up. The only reason why you're saying that is because she don't fall for your BS. You know what? You really have no idea how to just dim the lights and flick off the camera and stop acting, do you? You're a piece of work. Who was the girl at the building? See? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that right there. Your mouth is opening, but Latanja's words are spewing out. Oh. It's called mom manipulations, baby. I swear, man, that woman is a... <sighs> she lucky I'm a Christian. Ha, <laughs> Christian, my ass. The only reason why you go to church is to trick those good people out of their support only when you have a movie to promote. I'm currently on the Christian Alumni Association, okay? But no, seriously, Sister Alina, you need to stop allowing your so-called manager slash friend to play on your insecurities. I am not insecure. Don't you ever say that to me again. Don't you try to flip this around on me and call me insecure. I have forgiven you twice. So I don't even know how we're having this conversation. Baby, I love you. OK, and mm. someday soon, I do plan to marry you. Oh, thanks. I do, but baby, right now is just not a good time, OK? I mean, my box office numbers are booming, and 95% of women are the ones buying tickets. Now, I marry, and those numbers drop. And that becomes an attack on our comfort zone and possibly our future together. Okay. Uh, Lelina, I have to keep up this appearance that I'm single because in the minds of those precious young ladies out there, I'm their man. You know? No. I need some air. But where are you going? Oh, out. Out where? Anywhere. Your arrogance and your ignorance is too much. I can't. Look, can you give me some ice cream? That's if I'm still here. Oh, and don't forget to get an umbrella because it's raining outside. The reason why they created the doors is for people to come and go. So please go. Do you? Maybe I will. Let's go, okay? You can wear some of Reggie's clothes. Oh, yeah. That's the big time actor guy I be seeing you come out of the buildings with. You know, mm -hmm. man. Yo, he mad cheap. You know, he don't ever give me no money. <laughs> that is Reggie. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think he gonna be cool for me to come in here and take a shower, though? Yeah. Yeah. Because you need a, you need a hot, hot, hot 
Steaming hot, soaking hot, hot, hot bath. You got jokes? You got jokes? Alright, okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's the least I can do. No bubble baths. <laughs> well, all this rain out here, man. I forgot my little rubber ducky. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta do. Come in and enjoy. Whatever, Reggie. Yeah. Got like a fruity little lotion in there, too. Hey. Oh, that look good. Yo, where my clothes at, though? Garbage. The garbage? Yo, that was vintage freaking fat foam. <laughs> you don't know about ghetto couture? <laughs> How you gonna throw a man's stuff out? Nah, but seriously, yeah, you got a brother feeling good, man. Oh, I'm glad. Got a shower. Man, I even... I was able to wash out my hair a little bit, you know? Did you clean out my tub? Barely. Just kidding. <laughs> <sighs> you want to sleep on the couch tonight, or are you going to go back to everywhere? I mean, it's, it's mad comfortable here. You hungry? Yeah. Eat up. You saved my life. Yeah, but I don't want you to think that you gotta pay me back. Eat up. Mmm. All are against me, I will survive. I am strong. I am mighty. Even if the odds are against me, I will survive. I'm sorry, Pop. I'll let you down. I'm sorry, man. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, hey. Hey. What's up? hey, come on, take a seat. Get some of this gourmet cooking right there. That's that chef marvelous. I am impressed. Yeah. Oh, not really impressed by how the food looks, but the thought of it is so sweet. Plus, this is my very expensive vegan bacon, and it looks absolutely disgusting. You are not a good cook, are you? Whoa, whoa. I'm nice. I'm nice. <laughs> I'm real nice. But, yeah. okay, well, the eggs, um, I had to pour it out the carton. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> and then the meat, the meat, even with butter, it stick to the pan. That's the um, But it's good. Taste it. Follow me. Oh, you gonna eat this? Oh no, I'm not. I am oh, not eating that. Oh, you gonna eat this food? <laughs> I'm not eating that. I shall not waste. Let's go. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Oh man. I see you edged up with my razor. <laughs> you gotta stay clean. <laughs> <laughs> so you be like getting a lot of people coming to you asking for autographs and stuff. I do print and commercials, so I only have like thirty seconds to get people's attention, not a few hours, you know. So you want to do like movies? No. Never. I'm not. <laughs> You're beautiful. You got the actor, big time boyfriend and all that. <laughs> I know. I know it sounds crazy, but it is what it is. I love what I do. Cool. So what is it that you did before you, you know? Became homeless. Yeah. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I don't blame nobody because I'm homeless, you know? 
If anything, I blame myself. What you think? I blame Obama? Everybody else does. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I won't. You cool, man. I knew that from the first time that I met you. And your girl, El Boogie, even though know, she be lighting me up. <laughs> she good people, too. She does go in on you, um, but Latanja is love. She's a sweetheart. I, I try to see past the homeless man and, and, and see the inner person. T tell me, who are you? How did you end up homeless? I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. I ain't never been to jail. Mm -hmm. I surprise you, right? Yeah, to be honest, it does. <laughs> to become homeless, it only takes one bad mistake, one bad event. Like what? I mean, we live in a society where your career could literally end overnight. Social media, rumors, lies. Mm. I, mean, I mean, take the professional athletes, right? One politically incorrect statement. They get fired from the team, lose their endorsements. <laughs> Next thing you know, you can't pay your bills with that. House foreclosed on. It don't take much to become homeless. Wow. Where are you from, though, originally? Chicago. The shop? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yo, I like your city. I like your that. city. <laughs> Oh, it's cold, though. I like it. I like yes. it when it's in the summer. So what you doing for, like, the next two hours? You have the next two hours of my time. Mm -hmm. All right, bet. I want to show you something. Okay. I'm going to take this, though. <laughs> You're going to be safe. most useless human activity, right? <laughs> if you say so. Hey! <laughs> Where were you all last night? We were worried. Yeah, we're looking at hospitals, police stations all night. I mean, everyone was worried. Marvelous, you look different. Yeah, hey, you look clean. Oh, um, Alina, this is my family. Hey, Seuss. Hi there. Dave. Hey, I'm sorry, man. My hands are dirty. It's fine. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, this is it. You gotta feel sorry. We were born to solve problems, you know. You discover the problem, you discover the value. This is just temporary. I have to go to some meetings. I'll see you later. <sighs> Marv, you're welcome to come back for another shower. Thank you. I appreciate it, you know, but I can't. Be at my place at 7. All right, accept it. See you later. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. What's up? What's going on? What's going on? Hey. I'm worried about you. I got money. I got $50. Right. Hey, and this is what I was trying to get y'all to understand, see? And the IRS is and always will, it's going to annihilate your income. I'd say these people are like the mob. Well, no, 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 man. See, they, they, they're worse than the mob now. See, we can beat the mob, but the IRS, you can't beat the IRS. See, they got a robust armed forces, and then they got them, them, them comfy prison beds. That uh, they ain't really no bed. That, that's a cot. That's box spring. That, that, that's what that is. And I don't know about you, but see, that was good enough for me. Let me know, hey, I'm going to pay my taxes. You understand? That's what I'm trying to get you to do. It's not fair. Well, no, I ain't, I ain't never said it wasn't fair. No. Not gonna be fair. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe, 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 maybe we need a backup. Maybe one of y'all need an attitude adjustment or something. Because, see, that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. That. Look, gratitude is a new attitude. Like orange and new black, gratitude, you want, you want to say it with me? Is the new attitude. I, as a matter of fact, I like that. Let me write that down. <laughs> gratitude, goddamn it, I can't spell that motherfucker. What, Tony, what, why are you staring at me? What, what is it? You see the nobody. What's wrong? Why I'm just you... sitting here wondering what it would feel like to just fire you. You know, William, maybe you need to show us some gratitude for giving you our business. You know, well, you, 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 got some, you got some balls to come up here and talk about who you gonna fire and carry on. Now, I, I, I'm very grateful for your business, okay? Every day, I get a chance to do what I do. 
I pays my tax, and I don't think said it once, I didn't said it twice. I'm trying to get you to pay your taxes. That's what you're supposed to do. Why don't we just talk about our investments, the ones that we haven't seen any money on, like Bob's famous hot dogs or oh, Cynthia's my. country clothing. Yeah. Okay, you know You know, what? this is, it's been months. I knew you were going to come here with some crazy mess. See, that's what I'm talking about. On the 25th and the 28th, we, we talked about this. Your money going to be tied up for at least, I don't know, six six months to a year. Maybe, maybe more. Maybe two, three, four years. I mean, goodness gracious. I mean, do you want to be... Her financial plan? Is that your plan? Maybe I should be. Oh. Yeah, maybe I should be just that. It might stop you from chuckling and cause you to choke once you realize you got one client short. Mm. You just hungry. Huh. Hell wrong with you. Why, 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 why so mean? Oh. <laughs> William, I am mean to mean people, and I'm good to good people. And I think I should leave before I set it off up in here. Oh, Lord. I, I wish you would set something off up in here. Please do, Aileen. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. You even got the head in. Set it off, please. I, I would love to see you try to do my job. Why don't we see you do your job, William? I'm doing my job. Now, I didn't gave you the details. I didn't explained everything to you. You just seem to have a problem with it. What's wrong with your girl? What's her, what's her problem? You know what's wrong with her, and you need to get it together because I don't need your personal thing messing up my money. I try to tell you. Well, you are a little hard on the brothers. No, that is BS. No, honey, I love my brothers. God knows I do. <laughs> really, I, I just refuse to accept any mediocrity from them because that would be doing them a disservice. I feel you. I feel you on that. Right? Yeah, I do. What's up with you and Mar? One night has turned into a week. See, <sighs> you see what I'm saying? You cannot let the brother lay all up in your house for a week. He is not laying up all on me or around the house. He has actually been going out every day and looking for a job. He brought home some groceries one day this week. You know, Latasha, he's, he's trying. He, he just need a little nudge. A nudge? Honey, you need to light a fire up under his behind. <laughs> I'm telling you, Alina, Women, they don't respect and honor men that they have to take care of. That's true. Okay? You can't be letting this brother lay up in your house and you taking care of him and you feeding him and you clothing him. That's like taking care of your son. Yeah. Okay? And then eventually he's going to want to have sex uh. and not paying no bills. That's going to piss you off. <laughs> and let me ask you a question. How do you know that he didn't have his boys rob you just to try to look like Superman? You know what? I... I considered that. I actually thought about that. Um, but he he's not like that. Like, he's not conniving like that. Like, I, I like his mind. You're falling for him, aren't you? No, I, I haven't. No. I know you. <laughs> I know. I see the little twinkle in your eye. Oh, you got no. the little twinkle in. Damn. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You look good. What did you do? <laughs> Can you please wave the magic wand and clone one for me? El Boogie, do not mess with me today, I, please. I'm not trying to start any trouble. I'm just saying that you look good. Thank you. You Man. look good, too. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, look at what some clean water and some soap oh. and some lotion, a little toothpaste. Isn't oh. it delightful what those things could do? Lord Jesus, it's a fire. He's hot. Is this a compliment? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm in awe. Look at you. Honey, you better hurry up and get him some steady employment to get him off the meat market. I mean, really, not trying to be funny, honey, but, you know, help him pay them bills around there. <laughs> I actually looked for a job today. <gasps> Told you. Well, you know I could give you some referrals, too, looking like this. So where did you go? Today I just went to a couple of real estate agencies, brokerage firms. Brokerage? Mm. Listen, don't let the prefix broke fool you. Oh, I see you still don't got no man. <laughs> hey, don't try to be smart, okay? Oh. Don't try to be smart. <laughs> no, see, you know what the problem is? They don't want to mess with a real sister like me. No, see, the secret to unlocking my knees is jumping the broom. And I don't have time for anything other than that. And I see you clean a brother up and he start thinking he the Lion King, huh? <laughs> I'm not mad. I love it. I love it. I mean, you can't keep a fine brother down forever. Kumbaya. <laughs> Mustafa, Mustafa, thank you. Thank you for the motivation. I got your back. Um, you guys want anything? 
You buying? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm good. <laughs> Hey, I said I was good. Now, you better stop asking me. I order everything on the menu. Shoot, all that money was hustling out of you. <laughs> you might have to include them in your income tax. <laughs> I'm just joking. Mm. Well, 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 girlfriend. Man, your couch cleaned him up really good. He looks good, right? Yes, he does. You need to wave that little magic wand for me. <laughs> Girl, go to the mall or something. I'll see you later, okay? I have a good one. <laughs> Thank you. You. I Aww. got your favorite. Thank you. <laughs> you are going to a party with me tonight. A party? <laughs> hanging on the door. <laughs> you get that for me? Yeah. Marvel's Hunter? Sign here, please. Yeah. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, damn, Amani? You bought me this? No. Latonja? Who? Yo, Latonja got taste. Aw, she's oh. so sweet. Yo, this is nice. Oh, I'm gonna kill this bad boy. Hey, you mind if I wear this instead of that? Wear whatever makes you feel good about yourself. I'm gonna be clean. I'm gonna be the finest dude at this party. <laughs> Latonja got taste. Okay, enough with the suit like you never had one before. I mean, it's been a minute. Whatever. You know what? I could wear this one another time. You nah. are not hurting my feelings by wearing whatever suit you want to wear. Listen, my mind's made up. I'm going to wear your little suit, you know, and, and I can just wear this one another time. Well, hurry up and get ready so we can go. Mm-hmm. What? You be jealous. In your dreams. Uh-huh, you be jealous. Jealous. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit jealous. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna wear your little suit, though. <laughs> you look perfect together. I look perfect by myself, but you do look good. Yeah, I do look good, don't I? Mm, sweetie, you look so far removed from your cardboard box. Oh, hold up, wait a minute. Wait. That's cold. Come on now. I'm sorry, I have this rude sense of humor. I, I can't help myself. Mm-hmm. Get in this car. <laughs> I am so lucky. <laughs> you are beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now here's the real question. How do you know I got a license? Well, today is a great day, um, and the cocktails are always good here. <laughs> and um, you look good. Thank you. Thank you both. We need to get him a job. I have a few people around here I'd like to introduce him to, so we'll be right back. And I love that dress. Thank you, beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My goodness, amen. William. What are you doing, amen? It's so <laughs> good to see you. You might have spiff it in a seat. Thank you. <laughs> Indeed. You know what? I like you. I really like you. Oh, well, you know, first of all, I'm so glad that you like me <laughs> I, and you trust my services. Um, you, you, you said something about, about Amar. Amar? Oh, okay, yeah. That, that, that guy, huh? Yeah, that guy. I, I, just, I try to keep things separate. I don't really do try to get into people's personal lives, hey. you know, but uh, isn't that a homeless guy? Look. William. Well, this is what I'm trying to get you to understand. I mean, we, we, we are talking about financial planning, right? We're yeah, uh -huh. talking about... So, I mean, you really want to take advice on financial planning from a homeless guy. I mean, that, 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 that you, that's, that's in your house, your house sitting. In, I mean, how sweet is that now? How neat is that, huh? <laughs> if it makes sense to me, I pay attention. Well, I'm so glad you're paying attention, girl, because I got something for it. It might even hike that skirt of yours a little bit. <laughs> we have been investing in the prison system, and I'm telling you, that thing's booming for us. We got a return on investment on it. Are you freaking crazy? Are you insane? 
I would never invest a penny of my money in the in the prison system. Are you kidding me? Well, hold on now, darling. I mean, you're just so pretty. Don't get worked up for me now, okay? Could, could, can you hear me out? I don't need to hear you out. I can't believe you even suggested it to me. You know, I'm not saying that I'm the most business savvy person in the room, but there's there's no way that I could morally invest in anything like that. Listen to me, please. Don't invest my money in that industry. Do you hear me? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Well, do I have your you, word? You give me my word? You got you something else? I sign a paper? What, no. What, anything, in, but we're good, though. I mean, are we good? I won't invest your money in the prison system, no problem. Okay. All right. Ciao. You didn't give me a drink, huh? Latonja, thank you for the suit. Well, you're welcome, Marv. And I see that Miss Alina got you a suit, too, and you look so handsome. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Mar? Sabrina? What? What are you doing here? Where have you been? Well, it's good to see you're alive and well. It's a long story. Oh, well, hey, I mean, I don't have anywhere to go right now. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> So where you been? What are you doing here, Marv? Um, I'm just here supporting a friend. Who's that? Um, Alina Young. Alina, Sabrina, Sabrina, Alina. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Latanja. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. And um, I'm just enjoying this little housewife of Atlanta moment here. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you, too, and uh, congratulations on your success. Thank you. I, um, uh, I guess we were engaged at one point. There was never really any closure. <laughs> no closure? <laughs> wow. Well, what was left open? <laughs> I'm going to give you guys some time to talk. Oh, no, girl. I wouldn't leave if you paid me. <laughs> this is getting good. Let's go. Please. Well, it was nice to meet you. Me too. I work for a fashion company. They actually sent me here to bring some clothes for Alina. I waited for you, Marv. Can we talk? Outside, though. in the morning, go over here eating ice cream. <laughs> what you still doing up? Okay, all right, okay. I never should have allowed you in my space. I'll leave, okay? It's not the space I was talking about. Look, we were engaged. She's a good woman, Alina. I can't front it. I lost everything, and I just couldn't face her, so I left. You're whack for that. I am. But being homeless has showed me who I am. I may not have the money that I once had, but I'm a better person. Do you still love her? Yes. I do. Is there anything that you want to tell me? I promised myself that I wasn't going to be naive, that I was going to judge people's character before I just let him in my life. I need a new pair of running shoes, and the pipe in the bathroom needs to be fixed. It's a lot of stuff that needs to be repaired around here. Um, you need to find yourself. Good night. You like that? Mm-mm. Why? Oh, boy. 
don't and this I... one, oh my gosh, it gives me so much life. I like that one. Your hair is giving it to me, girl. Thank you. Um, can you give us a minute? Give us a minute. Hey. I'm back. I see. I got your girly text. <laughs> Girl, huh? Girly. Are you mad because I had to put you on timeout for a few weeks so you can check yourself? You really like the sound of your own voice. You need to check yourself. You know, I thought that you would have given me a call by now. But I underestimated you. So, you know, even a brother like me has to get on his knees and plea every now and then. Mm. I'm not asking you to get on your knees, so please don't. Well, are you sure? Yeah. Because you know I do it. You know how humble I am. <laughs> what, what do you really want, Reg? Why are you here? Look, baby. I know that you have a kind heart. And that's what attracts me to you. But you can't bring homeless people into your home. I mean, that's just not safe. You know... Why is she even there? Because it's my house and I can do what I want. But Lena, he's a grown-ass man. He, he, he's not a boy or a pet. He has to make his way like all of us. Stop it. You know, I'm just trying to look out for you. Really? Yes. But the night you said you didn't want to marry me is the night that he came out of nowhere and saved my life. Okay, good. Now it's time for him to pull out his cape and beat it. Baby, you've paid them back. What more does he want from you? Look, I can't have a homeless man squatting with the woman that I love and want to marry. Didn't you feed the homeless before? Yeah, but that was to promote my Christmas movie. Oh. Elena, I want you to be my wife. I want you to be my wife. Will you marry me? I don't have time for your games. I'm serious, baby. No games. What about you being young, rich, and gifted? I am young. All right, I'm rich. I'm gifted. <laughs> I'm fine. Too. But, baby... Those things don't complete me, okay? You do. Listen, the last few weeks that we haven't talked has really given me some time to think about us. I love you, Alina Young. Your arrogance is so unattractive. <laughs> Babe, you're confused. It's confidence. Look, look, just keep the ring on your finger. And think about it. Please. Will you make a conscious effort to change? Of course. Give me some time to think about it. All right. I'm serious. I'm serious. I will think about it. Tripping, you know? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Why are you just going to invite people in my house? Okay, I'm sorry. What made you think this was okay? Well, now you seem in a little prejudice toward homeless people, and I don't like that. You sound like you're being stupid on purpose, and I don't like that. This is not about people being homeless. It's about respect. You don't do this to somebody you say you care about. I'm sorry, okay? For the life of me, I don't get it. I don't understand you being uncaring and unappreciative. Go check the pipes in your room. Go check everything that's been broken in here. What are you talking about? I invited them over to fix your house. I mean, I didn't think that you would mind. They helped you fix the stuff around here? That's what I've been trying to tell you, yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I feel so bad right now. It's okay. Oh, my God. Hey, did you go shopping today? What do you mean? You got a new ring on your ring finger. Reggie asked me to marry him. I told him I'd think about it. 
You think about it? You love this dude? You love old girl? At least I don't fake front and pretend. It is what it is with me. This is not about no Sabrina. I already told you that I love her. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, are you jealous? Not even in your most wildest dreams. Me and Reggie have been together a long time. And it has not been the easiest journey, but it is what it is. That's BS. That's what that is. That's a lot of BS. You said something about being caring and concerned is why you ended up homeless. What did you mean? Can you explain that to me? Six months before the, uh, the housing market crashed, I found out of some illegal practices that were going on at my firm. David, Jesus, and I, we, uh, paid the consequences for being a whistleblower. We lost everything. Now I sit on a uh, park bench and I watch people that, uh, they're just blind to the sacrifices that me and my friends have made. Sometimes, man, I wish they like that I had gone along with those robberies. Because all those people now, they're rich. Look at me. Over here getting hand out from my friend. You know what I think? I think if given that choice again, you would do the same noble and honorable thing. Because that's who you are. Your parents knew what they were doing when they named you. People keep saying that I'm, I'm some type of hero. Yeah. I certainly don't have any hard evidence of it. You're my hero. I still can't believe that Reggie has the nerve to say he put me on a timeout. He must be crazy. I mean, the guy, he's young, he's, you know, he's rich, right? He's gifted, he's fine, but he's an asshole. Yeah. He really is an asshole, girl. Yeah. I'm I think Marv would be a better choice if we could just get him a steady job. Yeah, you know, I need security. Isn't that I, only normal for a girl to it, ask? It's normal, but sometimes security is a nine to five job at 30 grand a year. Okay, as long as he can pay a bill. <laughs> right. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now, we've been sitting here this whole Hi, time. Hi, guys. How you doing? How you doing? I'm so happy. This is a happy day. I never found my glasses. Don't worry about me. <laughs> How you guys doing? We uh, took an orders, you guys. Your favorites. So how's everybody doing? Everybody How do you know what my favorite is? Well, I mean, I, I, I do know you. I'm uh, just trying to be cordial. You don't like cordial? I love cordial. But then what's the problem? <laughs> I just don't like controlling. Man, I thought this was a happy, happy table, happy table, happy day, happy day. I'm very happy. I'll be happier once I see what you got to say today. Well, Lord have mercy. Well, I mean, Reg, how, how, how you doing, Red? Oh, man, I'm good, man. I'm super excited about everything in life. My present company, my future. And see, that's mm -hmm. what I'm talking about, Red. You see what I'm saying? You're doing great things. Great yeah. things, great people. You put the great together. Great equal great. I like how you that's, that's, that's what I'm saying, Red. That's what, good job, Red. <laughs> Lord have mercy. So why are we here? I, uh, the tone of what's going on with, with the new guy there. Who's the new guy? Hey, Lane is friend now. We talked about this. But why does that concern you? Why are you getting so edgy? What's wrong with you? Come on now, I'm just asking a question. Well, just don't ask, okay? Because it's none of your business. And I'm not edgy. I just came here for a reason, and here you are popping into something else that does not concern you. And please, don't call me edgy. You're about to open up Andor's box, and you don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, God ain't done with me yet. God, he <laughs> sure ain't done with you, and that, that, that's for sure. Now, you keep it up. I'm going to get inside Pandora's box and turn her inside out. How about that? Calm it down. You're getting heated. You're going to melt that chocolate, and then chill. I'm so sorry. Pardon me. Nothing. 
Look, I, I was coming here to tell you I got some checks for you. That's what we came here I for. I got checks for you. Well, what are the checks? Checks Monday morning, honey. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. How's that do? <laughs> well, you know, that makes a girl, you know, feel less edgy. <laughs> I know what you like, Chopper. I've been knowing you for a minute now. See, you're showing off. I wish you showed me Marv. Bring Marv on over here. I got some errands I want Marv to run. That's what I got to do now. And I don't mind putting a little couple hundred dollars in Marv's pocket, you know. I, that... that would be so great. Thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> She's a sweet. I, I like a little high yellow, too. You did good with that one. <laughs> you know what I'm... Oh, Lord have mercy. Sorry about that, Chocolate. You, 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 you contagious. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you trying to do? Steal them from me? Well, yeah, I'm gonna steal him from you. You said he was good. You said he was good employee. Why, why, why wasn't I steal him? Well, you know what? Fine. Go right ahead, you and your cheap self. If you want to pay him more than what I'm paying him, I won't stand in the way. I'm not trying to block anyone's opportunity. You sure? Because you blocking right now. You got some shoulder pads on. I'm gonna take them <laughs> off you and you keep it up, all right? <laughs> oh, marvelous. Indeed. How, how you doing, man? Yeah. All right. Kind of funny they call a grown man marvelous, you know what I mean? What, can I call you mom? Actually, my mother named me Marvelous. God rest her soul. So. Marv it is. So look here, Marv. Uh, I actually had a check that I wanted to give you. That, that's for the Tonja. But uh, uh, I wanted to pay you a couple hundred dollars to run some errands for me. Got to take some paperwork to some people. But is that all right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, how much you going to pay me? Oh, about 200. I mean, I know that's not that much, though. You know, just put a little something in your pocket, if, if that's okay. Ah, okay. That's what I'm talking about, my man. <laughs> All right. Now, here we got him. And that envelope, 50000 now. Don't, don't mess around that. that, that that's fifty k. Uh, don't make no mistakes. I need you to make sure that that's right. You see what I'm saying? You might even want to sit on that, like you didn't have some egg, if, if that's what it takes. Don't, don't screw it up, okay? I mean, is this legal? What do you mean legal? I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a lawyer. I is. I'm legal. I don't do illegal. I'm legal. So as far as you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm trustworthy. Is that fine? You think you can handle that? You got the two hundred dollars. You get the two hundred when you drop the package off. You drop the package off. You get the two hundred. All right. All right, brother. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Oh, ask me when they get the 200. Motherfucker, deliver the money. I stopped by Alina's house to let her know about this, but she wasn't home. I think I need you guys to take a ride with me. That's right. Everything okay? This guy that I'm dealing with, I don't trust him. All right, yeah. yeah. Thank you for bringing the pictures by, but you didn't have to. No problem. So have you thought about what I asked you? I need a little more time. More time for what? Marriage is a lifelong commitment. <laughs> You're not ready to make that journey with me? Well, Marv said I should... Don't mention his name to me anymore. I heard you taking financial advice from this loser. Did William tell you that advice willed me back some handsome profits? Seems like both y'all are intimidated by him. No one intimidates me, especially some bum. If I want to know about collecting garbage or how comfortable a park bench is, he's the man. Are you really fixing your mouth to tell me that he's advising you on our marriage? Do you really trust this dude? Yeah, it's hard to talk to you about anything. Gosh. <sighs> nah, I, I really don't have time for all this, Selena. I've been displaying a lot of patience because I know you like to take on these little pet projects. But my patience is wearing thin. He has to go. I have a few meetings to go to. When I get back, I'll have an answer for you. And when we first started dating, you were amazing. Of course, you weren't as famous as you are now. I don't know who this person is. 
He used to be humble. That's the guy I fell in love with. I'll have an answer for you when I get back. Finally me, infamous, marvelous. See, you got on one of my shirts. <laughs> hey, listen, I usually don't shake hands with the homeless, but for you, I make an exception, man. OK, whatever, screw you. So listen, uh, Lena, man, she didn't want to be here for this. She just didn't have the heart to do it, so she asked me. I'll tell you, <laughs> you had a real good thing going here, really good. But how long did you really expect to leech off of Alina, huh? Oh, yeah, she asked me to pack your bags, too, and make sure that you're out of here by the time she gets back. I think I'll let her tell me herself, bro. Nah. It's good. I'm here. I'm back. So get your stuff and get the hell out. I will knock you out. <laughs> Test the are we? Oh, my gosh. Listen, I'm not a fighter. I'll be the first to admit that. But I know you are. Yeah. Know plenty about you. Marvelous. Let me ask you something. You know what that is? Hmm? That's called a D. Yeah. You do know what this is, right? Of course you do. From your days in real estate, right? Yeah. I know all about you, Marvelous. Let me ask you something. Can you read? Hmm? Whose name is on that? Huh, Dirty Man? Dirty Man. Whose name is on the lease? <laughs> let, me, let me help you out. It says Reggie Vance Tyner. That's me. <laughs> oh, I got paper like that. I got a lot of paper, but I do not choose to spend it on grown ass men. So, if you're not out of here in the next 30 seconds, I'm calling the police. Oh, no, 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 you can take everything. I bought some running shoes for Alina, man. Oh, oh running shoes, what is that? Oh, Jordans. They can run out the door. <laughs> Along with you, but you can leave the keys to my truck because that's in my name, too. You sad, man. You real sad. <laughs> I know. And pitiful. Mm. If I didn't feel so sorry for you, I would knock you out. <laughs> Here's the keys to your truck, bro. Take your ass to the park, bitch. I came by earlier. Did you meet Marv? No. But I would like to meet this guy who has my woman, Tom. That's weird. What's that? Marv left. I'm oh, good. It's time for him to stand up like a man. I thought he would have at least told me to my face. Oh, come on now. He's a bum, babe. That's what hobos do. I mean, they beg for change and exploit people, babe. Why are you still here again? To be with you. I have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, well, Alina, can I stay with you tonight? No. Well, Alina, look, I bought you your favorite ice cream. Oh, thank you. No, uh, Alina. But wait, wait, wait.
Well, let them know you scouted for him. Look, I'm so sorry <laughs> for kicking you guys out. It's all good. I would have done the same thing. You are welcome anytime. Thanks. Keep that in mind. Thank you. And it's all the cast with a chance of sunshine. Try to make it last. I just don't get it. Well, he's sleeping at the office. Is he okay? Yes, he's okay. But why don't you just come by the office and ask him for yourself? You know he's working the front desk. The front desk at your office? Yes. You know, I've known you for a really long time, and I can tell that you're falling for him. I don't know what I am. I'm telling you, you are. I know it, okay? Oh, it's Mar. <laughs> hey, how are you? Yeah. Well, did they say what they wanted? All right, well, just have them wait in the back office. Okay, I'm on my way back. All right, all right, bye. There's some people waiting for me. Why don't you drive back to the office with me? And then you can say hi. Okay. Good, <laughs> let's go. Thank you, okay. Thanks for calling Sims Entertainment. Hey, so what, you just got off the phone with Jay-Z? Oh, no. Actually, that was God on line one saying, be thankful that he sent me an angel that gave me a job. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Latanja told me you were here. Yep. In the flesh. Why'd you leave? Come on. That's your boy. Yo, he whack. I got your letter. What letter? The letter you left me. I leave you no letter. Okay. Okay. I'm coming in. I didn't leave you no letter. You know, if I had something to say to you, I would say it to your face. Anyway, Latonja wants to see me inside. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Look, let's talk later. I don't want to rush what I have to say to you. You look beautiful. So do you. You look great, though. So she may be, I mean, like, you know, working the phone. Sometimes I take out the garbage, you know? Uh -huh. It's cool right now. Hey! <laughs> What's up? I don't get a promotion or something? Man, y'all look professional, man. But, Tondra, why you ain't telling me I could have wore the money, killed them? Right. Sir, you want to uh, have a seat? For what? Just. Have a seat. What's going on? You stole $50,000 from me. Man, you's a $50,000 lock. Come on, I ain't got no time for this, William. Lena, he's lying. Detective, I have proof that he's a thief. You must be drinking 80 proof, man. Look, <clears throat> you guys know that he served time in prison? <laughs> How marvelous, Marvin. So you didn't tell her that you were being investigated for illegal inside trading practices, huh? Real estate fraud. I didn't steal your money. Look, Lane, Lane, I'm not no thief. I took your money, man, and I did exactly what you told me to do with it. Detective, can you do me a favor? Please get him out of here. Thank you very much. Up you go. Lane, I'm not a thief. I'm telling you. Come on, y'all. I can't go back to jail. This just doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, so I see you have a soft spot for the guy, too. Yeah, but he played all of y'all. I thought that you were the smart one. No offense. You know, you can't say anything to me. So why don't you leave my office, go mosey on down the street and find some balls? Whatever. <clears throat> Thanks for bailing me out. No problem, Vicky. You okay? Yeah, he really had me fooled. Because why would William make something up like that? I don't know. But I'm not going to allow him to hurt you anymore. You tried to help him, and you'll get your blessings. 
He's the one that's gonna have to suffer for it. So you never really know a person these days. It's crazy. Thank you for being here for me. Thank you for allowing me to be here for you. <laughs> Yes, I will marry you. It took you long enough. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Stupid. I'm just <laughs> I really am sorry. I just couldn't look in your face. You know, I thought about going to the top of a building and just jumping off. I guess you think I'm weak, huh? No. The greatest tragedy in life isn't death. It's life without a purpose, no meaning. Look, the fact that you didn't go on top of that building and jump off tells me you are absolutely a strong man. But only you can pull yourself together. Hey, baby. Hey, man. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Thank you. Look, man. This is the only reason, Rain. I can understand that. Do you really? I do. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look, Rain, you can stop thanking me, all right? What you want to eat, sweetie? You want some pizza? Chinese, Italian? What you want? You want pizza? Yeah, yeah, pizza's fine. Pizza? Yeah, cheese. You got some cheese, pizza, money? <laughs> I put some broccoli and onions on it too. Is that all right with you, sir? Yeah, that's all right, man. <laughs> all right. All right, I got y'all. He's a good guy. He is. He good is. Choice. What about you? What you mean? What I mean? This Alina. <laughs> that's a come up for you. <laughs> How did that happen? It's weird. What do you think I should do about it? Well, first, get yourself together. You can't marry her into zero. Get back that vision that you once had and get that girl. What did you see in me? Your vision? Because, baby, you're not that good looking. What? <laughs> the chocolate prince. What? No. Come on. But seriously, your vision is what got you this girl. And Alina sees that, but she is not gonna stick around and wait on potential. Get to work. It's just like my. I got this block in my mind. It's, it's like what they did to me at my job. I just can't get past it. I can't understand it. It's just like I'm, I'm trying to break it, but I can't. That it's like is fear. There, There is nobody blocking you but you. And the only power that they have over you is the power you give them. So don't, don't give them that power. So you know me. You can stay here tonight, but... No, 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 I cannot take that. I cannot take that. I can't take it. It's alone. Thank you. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, so make sure that we have everything that we need for this photo shoot. I can't afford Alina? it. Alina? Alina. To not be... Alina. Focus, security. Alina, Sorry, please. don't call the phone. What do you want? Alina, I just wanted you to know that I did not steal that money. Oh, come on. You know what? You lied to me about being in prison. I don't know what you're lying about. You could be lying about everything. I don't even know who you, you are right now. You know that I'm not lying. You got to believe me. Hey, make sure security is coming. Latanja. Help Boogie. Please, just chill, right? Look, Alina. I don't know what to believe about you. I need you to believe me. So let's go. I, come on, man, bro. 
I need you to believe me now, all right? You looked me in my face and said you never went to prison. I had you sleeping on my couch. I gave you money, money yeah, that I worked for. I right, gave man. to you. Let's go. Come on, man. Bro, man, you're choking me, bro. Listen, you can hate me all that you want. No, I don't hate you, Mark, but I don't trust Something you. you do not I don't know who you are, Mark. That's none of your business. Don't marry you, man. You ain't, ain't you got a taser or something, bro? Just Damn, get him out, out of the here. building and make sure he's not arrested. Thank you. That El Boogie thing just gives me a soft spot for this guy. Okay, so let me show you what's the other one. Okay, you like that one? It's ugly. Oh. Okay, wait, where's the other one? Okay. All right, do you like that one? It's ugly. They're, they're all ugly. Okay, Alina, we have gone through a hundred photos, and you don't like any of the dresses. Come on. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I got a story to tell you, and it's a true story, I promise to God. You ready for it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there was this guy, mm -hmm. right? He was a real Playboy type, mm -hmm. right? Filthy rich. You know the Playboys are rich, right? Women galore. Mm -hmm. He had a big old mansion, a private plane, all this stuff mm -hmm. going on, right? He could get whatever woman he wanted. But there was this one woman he could not have because she refused to be with him because she wanted to wait and have sex when she got married. Wow. Yes. Okay. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. True story. Wow. This was in like the 50s or the 60s, right? So she didn't know he was married because we didn't have all the Facebook mm -hmm. and all the Twitter. Status. and all the social networking, <laughs> right. you know, knowing what's going on in relationships, right? right? So she didn't know he had a wife and he had a bunch of women, but she didn't care. She went, met a man that was willing to wait, got engaged, got married. This fool had a nerve to get all pissed off, hired some guys, tossed acid in her eyes. What? Yeah, because he felt like if I can't have you, nobody else could. He gets convicted, goes to jail. Her husband divorces her. Wow. And are you ready for the twist of the story? Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Okay. <laughs> when he gets out of jail, he reconnects with the woman, and they end up getting married and living happily ever after. No way. Nuh-uh. That is not a true story. But you know what the moral of the story is? Is that the universe has this way, right, of pulling people back together in ways that we don't even understand. It's been two months since I saw Marv. Listen, I'm sure he's okay. And plus, we ain't seen him out begging. So I guess the universe is putting money in his pocket. <laughs> I think all the time, what did he do with the money he stole? I don't know. That situation is a little sticky to me. You know? I tell you, my intuition is popping off the charts. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. I really don't think he did it. But you think William would concoct something that evil? Yes, I do. With the help of Reggie, mm. absolutely. Can I tell you, and I just got to be honest, I don't think you should marry Reggie. <laughs> I have a migraine. Oh, baby, you do. Come here and give me a hug. <laughs> All right, listen, we don't have to look at any more Ugly wedding dresses. books. No, we're done. <laughs> but listen, there is one thing I do want to say. This movie that Reggie is currently filming right now mm -hmm. is one of those kind of movies that's really good for him if he's engaged or married. You know, his mm. PR would be off the chain. And sometimes those PR firms, they will do whatever they need to do to try to make their clients pop. I'm not saying he's trying to marry you because of that. But I just want you to keep that in mind, okay? All right, listen, honey, keep your heart open. Keep your eyes open. And just trust your spirit. Okay. You hear me? Mm-hmm. I love you. I love you. God's got you. <laughs> Come here. Mighty, even if the odds are against you, you will survive.
You look great. I'm trying. You look like you're doing more than trying. I got a job at uh, Johnson Realty. David and Jesus got hired too. I'm just taking baby steps. Baby steps? I knew you could do it. I fired William. So, I may be calling you up soon. Well, you want to invest your money with somebody you trust. I don't think I'm the man for that job. You still getting married to Reggie? Tomorrow. Congratulations. Are you happy? Just for the record, I didn't steal that money. Do you come here a lot? I do. Well, I guess I'll see you everywhere. What's wrong, baby? I want you out of here. I will expose you all over social media and tell the world what you did tomorrow. The media will eat that up. And we both know that will destroy your acting career. I want to see you everywhere. You gonna say something? <laughs> everywhere? Yes. Everywhere. I love you, Mars. I love you. I love you.
it's because of you I get my happy ending, baby You got me so happy, inspired by love And you did it And it's because of you I got my happy ending, baby From this day on, I never judge a book by its cover Never knew that you would be the one and I discovered I'm grateful for everything you've done A part of me lies on me I was in the wrong relationship You helped me understand You got me so happy, inspired by love Because of you, I get my happy ending, baby. You got me so happy, inspired by love, and you did it. And it's because of you, I got my happy ending, baby. You got me so happy, inspired by love. Because of you, I get my happy ending, baby. If anyone else deserves me, it's you. Can't nobody make me feel like you do. And it's because of you standing true. I know that you're the one, that's why I do. Everything I feel is what I need. Cause you're the man. Because of you, I get my happy ending, baby. You got me so happy, inspired by love, and you did it. And it's because of you.